All right, let's get this started. All right, here we go, folks. <laughs> testing, testing, testing the mic. Ooh, I'm feeling this music already. Are we at a cafeteria? Or a, a lounge. Or a speakeasy. Panic Inc. Maybe it's a diner. 1975. Boulder, Colorado. I like the, the background color. <gasps> you see Julia. Who's Julia? What if it's our sister or something? <laughs> <laughs> and not love interests. Oh, do I press something? Oh, I do. Okay. <laughs> She's about your age, late 20s, laughing with well-dressed professors and grad students from nearby CU Boulder. You, Henry, are out drinking with your pals. You approach her. Ooh. She is a love interest, I think. You are drunk. Nice. So, what's your, you know, Ooh. major? Or we go straight forward. You, you you're, you're pretty. pretty. Uh, if you're drunk, I don't, if this is a bar, I don't know if you want to go on too strong like that. So, uh, what's your major? What a pickup line. <laughs> you slur the word major and it smells like cores. You give an awkward smile. Evolutionary biology, she says. And I'm a professor. Cool, you reply. What's yours, she asks. She sniffs the air. Toxicology. Damn, the bird. Okay. Little wit here. Was that a burn, you ask? She says, definitely. Worried she hurt your feelings, she asks you if you want to split a cheeseburger. One week later, you are Julia's boyfriend. Damn, we move fast. Wow. <laughs> Sly. So it was a woman of interest. Julia. Is this our corporate job? Oh. Back back. All right, how's this feel so far? Is that too much? Is that um, that's too not fast? too bad. A red pickup truck. Where are we going? Well, there's no one here but us. Hmm. In a fire extinguisher. <laughs> is, is that a hint of things to come? Oh, maybe. Fire watch, you know? There's gonna be some fires. You date for over a year. She drives you absolutely nuts. It's great. You move in. You share an apartment near the school with a view of the mountains. You two drink beers out on the deck. You drink beer just about anywhere. Life is good. So either she's going to die or we're going to break up. Or we, yeah. This Something is too bad good. This to is happen, too good, right? right? Yeah. Julia wants to get a dog. That's great. There's a scruffy, undersized beagle. Oh, you like, you, do you like beagles? I like beagles. Julia is in love. She wants to bring it with her to class. There's also an intimidating but gentle-eyed German shepherd. Nothing bad could happen to Julia while walking this dog. It's badass. Oh, interesting. So we could get Bucket the Beagle or Mayhem the Shepherd. I like that name, Mayhem. Personally, I would probably adopt the German shepherd. Yes. But do we need to do what Julia, you know, if she's in love with the beagle? I could too, but I... I Does I, she need protection? Right. Though? I'm overthinking this, but like, what if like one day choosing the beagle means like she's walking the dog one day and she gets like mugged and because he didn't pick the shepherd, she dies. Maybe that's too much overthinking. It probably I is. hope it's not like, uh, <clears throat> that like one is like more selfish. You know, the German oh. Shepherd is more like, oh, he's so cool. That's what I want. Should we go Beagle? Let's go Bucket. I, but if she gets mugged, I'm going to feel really bad. Hey, she wanted the, the Beagle, you know? Bucket the Beagle. Bucket's a good dog, and a week later, you've totally forgotten about the other one. Mayhem. Julia loves him. <laughs> you love him, too. Damn. 1979. You talk out on the deck. It's summer, 9.30 p.m., and the heat still radiates off the high desert. What do you think about kids, she asks. Kids? They're not very smart, or good at much. I'm saying if you and I have some, a couple little idiots. Ooh. 
Wait, okay. Again, we have kind of like a... So the, is the left one like compromising? Or more that would like... be pretty good. So who says... I'm saying if you and I have some, a couple little idiots. Yeah, she wants to have kids. She's asking if we want to oh, have kids. Oh, okay. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. I mean, personally. Personally. <laughs> I wouldn't want to have kids. Yeah. But if we're in a good relationship. You got buckets. She wants to have kids. I'm she assuming this kids. is, you know, the route this character is taking. So sure, why not? In that case, we should probably get married. Yeah, I would like that, you say. These kids are going to be screwed up enough. It's probably for the best that their parents are hitched. You say she's absolutely right. Whoa. Okay. So are we like having memories? Maybe this is present day. Yeah. So I wonder, seems I like wonder if we're going to be getting this, these dialogues like all throughout the game. Ooh, the fire danger's high. Oh no. We're on the job. Yeah. I like, I'm just walking with like fists. <gasps> They're a fair trailhead. Do not forget to check in, no fireworks. Yeah. Bears. Uh oh, are we gonna be brawling? <laughs> brawling with the bears. What does this remind me of this game so far? I don't know. It reminds me of something we've played before. It does? Yeah. At least the music. Mm. Like recently? Maybe. Edith Finch? Yes. That's what the music reminds me of that. <gasps> Fade to black. 1980. It's a Thursday night and Julia is four hours late. She doesn't call. You're worried and getting angrier by the minute. She walks in after you've gone to bed. Wait, she shit on you? She's not quite drunk, but she's clearly been having a fun time. <gasps> you fight when she gets between the sheets. Do we get mad or do we ignore her? See, I feel like ignoring is just like... Like brushing the problem? Yeah, we gotta... You know, talk right we can, now. We cannot avoid conflict. Even if she's a little tipsy, is it good to fight while? Well, you're... if she's tipsy, at least we get the truth, right, of what's going on. Do we get mad? That's true, but you know, that's me. This is your playthrough. I don't know. I don't know. Like, what does getting mad mean? Does it mean like we're gonna scream at her? Oh, right. You know. That's true. I know, right? Do or I think if you ignore her, she would. Like, she would talk first. I guess we'll get mad. <laughs> <laughs> you call her an inconsiderate asshole. She oh. tells you to fuck yourself and to not be such a baby. You call her selfish. She knows you mean it and it hurts her feelings. Whoops. Yikes. Is that the beginning of the end? Julia still likes to draw. She draws plans from her research. She draws all the places you go. She draws you. You pose and flex like he man. You frolic like a Victoria's Secret model. <laughs> so let's frolic. Very nice. <laughs> Whoa, look at us climbing. It's getting quite dark already. Yeah. Damn, this is golden hour. It is. What is oh, this? Like that's... some sort of a death trap? <laughs> it's about to be. I know it's just a tree, but it looks like spikes. Yeah. It's going to be deadly hour. Yeah, you can already uh, see the stars. Yeah. That's cool. Oh, so pretty. What if we're, like, we're going to like bury her? That would suck. Two forks. Oh, fire lookout. Eight more miles still. We got a long road ahead of us. Oh, nice. During the summers, you and Julia enjoy walking bucket at night. There's a festival in town. It brings <gasps> in folks from faraway places. No. One of them tries to mug you, you with a knife. Oh no. What if Bucket tries to protect us? Please. Bucket gets kicked. Oh, I'm sorry, Bucket. 
Julia yells. She gets flustered and has trouble speaking when she is stressed. You confront the attacker. Let's scare him away. Ah. I don't. I don't want to be. I'm not Batman. <laughs> You reach into your pocket like you've got a gun and threaten to kill oh. him. Oh! You man manage to scare all three of you. He runs away. Julia asks to take a different path from that day forward. You say okay. You don't want to go that way either. From then on, you walk by the river. I'm so sorry, Bucket. Bucket. But I feel like if we had had mayhem, he would have probably killed the guy. Yeah, then, then you got police reports and then all that paperwork. So, not worth it in the end. <laughs> 1984. Plans to have kids get waylaid by work. Okay. Julia gets offered a job at Yale. Yale is in Connecticut, 2,000 miles away. It's a great job. Associate department chair. She wants to move. You absolutely do not. Convince her not to take the job. Agree if she commutes back and forth. This is both bad. Okay. You never, you could, you cannot hold, like, there would be so much resentment forever if you told yes. her not to take the job. Yes. Like, even if it's the end of the relationship, like, like the relationship is going to end no matter what, if that's the way it's heading, mm -hmm. you know? Exactly. All right, let's agree if she commutes back and forth. You ask her if she'll commute back and forth. You don't want to move to Connecticut. She says that'll be hard, but she'll do it if you won't move. You tell her not to pass it up if that's what she wants. She agrees. She flies back to Boulder three times each semester. They're gonna, you guys are going to drift apart, for sure. 1985. Julia is sent home from Yale on paid leave after having an episode. She lost it on a colleague for borrowing books that were important to her research. She didn't remember she had happily loaned them to him just two days prior. So, something's wrong with her? Yeah. Does it mean, like, her... So she got, like, really angry? Is it like memory issue or is it like a, yeah, like she's just stressed? I don't know, maybe it's more. She was found crying in the stairwell. You say that maybe you guys should talk to someone about it. You make macaroni and drink wine and try to forget about macaroni it. Macaroni and wine? Really? That is not the adult decision. I want to try that one next, Sarah. If you have a mental breakdown. Here, honey, here's some Merlot and Kraft mac and cheese. <laughs> Let's just ignore anything ever happened. <laughs> Drink the Merlot. It'll help you. Is she, how's she going to react to that? Oh, well. I know. After seeing multiple doctors and having many tests, they're worried that Julia okay. might be suffering from early onset dementia. She's 41. Damn. You both decide to keep it a secret for now. Oh, that's uh, sad. Well, figured it was going to uh, turn depressing. <sighs> yeah. Oh, poor guy. I know. Sounds like he's been through it. So I was telling, that was what, 1982? Yes. I, I wasn't keeping track of it. 82, years. did it say what year were, this was currently when we were walking? No. Maybe we'll find out. Oh, wait, he has? Is, already? Oh my God, it's a penis. <laughs> I was not expecting that. <laughs> oh my gosh. What? We just we went from dementia to a naked man. Just a lot of emotions going back and forth here. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> okay. Bucket is getting <laughs> older. Julia oh no. comments that it's kind of nice because he gets in less trouble around the house. Bucket. Oh, that's sad. Shit. A week later, she goes back to the university. Is that... A good idea. Good I yeah, a good idea. Nineteen eighty-seven. Julia's affliction gets worse. She can't remember things in class. Her research is in shambles. She drives her car to the next town over for no particular reason and has to be brought home by the police. She is devastated. She is sent home on permanent medical leave. So she's I think she's what, forty six then? If she was 41 back in 82? Mm. No. That was five years ago. Yeah. <clears throat> 46? Dang, man. It's young. Yeah, this is really sad. Some days you get the Julia who calls you a dope and your unborn children little idiots. Oh. Other days you get a stranger. 
She pulls you into bed to make love. After five minutes, she goes into a panic, believing her dad is at the door. Damn. You tell her family. They are crushed and begin to make trips to and from their home in Australia to visit her. For a while, your friends come by with little things to brighten the day. She gets worse. Shit. 1988. You spend your days following Julia around the house. You count the seconds between the two weekly visits from Daniel, the nurse. He suggests that Julia could live somewhere else, somewhere with 24-hour care, a home. It sits with you for a couple of months. Oh, this is tough. You are determined to take care of her by yourself. You decide to move her into his full-time care facility. Uh, I mean, because this is a video game, I feel like the easy, the easy choice is to like take care of her. But in, in reality, you know, you'd be facing so much like potential. I know there's like caregiver burnout. Yeah. And he's doing it all by himself, right? Besides the, the, nurse, the nurse. Daniel. I know. But like, but like, yeah, I feel like you would try to take care of her by yourself if you could. I hope. But would the quality of her life be better? I know. I wasn't expecting moral dilemmas. I think I'm leaning towards taking care of her just because it feels like they don't have a lot of time left. Yeah, I know. But, oh, that's rough. Yeah. You gonna go for her? Okay. Yeah, I was so, not expecting choices in this game. Yeah. So we slept overnight and now we're maybe back on the trail. This is a very pretty path. It is pretty. So my guess is like, yeah, maybe we are gonna like, we're spreading her ashes maybe. Hi friend. Her first sign of life. I'd be kind of scared though if I ran into a deer with antlers like that. I know. It is impossibly hard. The worst is when you get mad at her, like when she tries to cook her own food. Oh. You can't do anything without her, and she can't do anything without you. Hopefully doesn't feel resentment at all. When she goes to sleep, you stay up for a few hours, drinking on the deck, watching baseball in the summer, college basketball in the winter. Drinking then, too. You start going out after you put her to bed. The first time you do it, you worry about her getting up and walking around while you're gone. You put a chair in front of the bedroom door. You trust that she sleeps like a rock. You put a chair in front of the bedroom door. Oh, it's like lock her in. I feel like neither is good because like in an emergency situation. Yeah. She wouldn't be able to leave. But also if she left, then she, you know. She could wander she anywhere. She could wander anywhere. Why does he have to go out? I guess because he just wants to blow up steam. Probably. <sighs> hmm. It does feel like these decisions are like at least impacting the opening narrative. Yeah. So I don't know. I don't know. Wait, what if she like she can't get out and then she does like other means like smashing the window? I don't know. Yeah, like if she woke up if and she was window. locked in, she could be terrified. Right. You go to the same bar at the boring end of Pearl Street. It's nice there. Over time, you tell Sheila, the bartender, everything. It's a huge weight off. You're home and in bed by 1 a.m. a couple of nights a week. You look forward to those nights. 1989. One night, you are stopped at a DUI checkpoint. You blow a point one and are taken to jail for the night. You consider trying to hide it, but you tell your sister-in-law, Susan. Julia's parents take the next plane from Australia. They can't believe the state your house is in. Oh. Then they tell you Julia is coming to live with them. You don't argue. You say you'll visit soon. A few weeks go by. Summer is coming and you see an ad in the paper for a job. You take it. Park Ranger? It's gotta be. So you think he never, he, he hasn't seen her again? Maybe not. So this is current, 1980, what was that, 1989? I mean, I, I do think that's the better scenario for her family to be taking care of her. 
like multiple people right it's not just all on him and it's also like people that care like it's not people in a facility yeah and i mean obviously he's not i mean it's affecting him pretty you know negatively if he's going out drinking and... yeah yeah obviously I miss the sound of uh, crickets chirping. Mm -hmm. And the uh, lightning bugs. If there are any, I think I see a few. All right, I guess I should probably uh, check this place out, huh? Whoa, this is our haven. So, so this is like our first day. Do we mean, get any training? I think this is the training right here. I think we're in it. What did I just? Oh, okay. oh, I can. Hop over that. We. Okay, there doesn't seem to be anything interesting to investigate at the mm -hmm. moment. Oh, cistern. So that's the water, rainwater, it collects. Interesting start. Up we go. Hope you're not afraid of heights. <laughs> this would definitely freak me out a little. Yeah. So I wonder, he did he just take this job just so he can like be alone? I'm sure, yeah. Escape like, the be world. alone, escape everything. He's been through a lot. That's nice. Oh yeah, I like the art style, the design. It's really neat. Got some what, propane. The door. A humble abode. Oh, it's, oh, is that another one? I think so. Or someone else. Lurking in the woods. Nah, this isn't a horror game. Oh, oh, cool. Oh, that is a nice font. I like that font, right? I really like the font. Sarah is really big on fonts. Yes. Has the you know right amount of space between the letters. Mm -hmm. It's nice. Big font person. <laughs> Kavuzel has thought about taking a Firewatch job before. Decided not to because there's no running water. Oh. <laughs> that would be a bit unfortunate. Yeah, that's a downside. I do think it would be... Like, I mean, it'd be a little stressful just because of the nature of the job, but the idea of like being off grid out in the middle of nowhere is definitely appealing to me. Well, no one can hear you scream. Not in that way. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. <laughs> Turn, on the power. Turn on the power. Flora of the Shoshone? 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 There's no accent mark. Shoshone? Maybe. Or Shoshone. Shoshone. <laughs> Saho, 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 Saho. Saho. <laughs> Shoshone. Shoshone. Okay. Should I turn on the power first? Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> so I can see. Nice. Beautiful. Hello, beautiful. Two Forks Tower. Hello? Hello, Delilah. I'll be with you in a moment. Got a nice little stove here. Old Do pine cone. Tower, oh. This is Thoroughfare Tower. Come in. Thoroughfare. Okay, that's the other tower across. I guess I should probably talk. I know you're there. Your lights are on. Mm-hmm. That was quick. L2 to activate radio. You don't hear him talk. Wait. Or select. Oh, oh that's... it's actually R2, not L2. Oh, it is? Oh, really? Okay, um, okay there we go. Hello, whoever this is. Henry. This is Henry, right? Yeah. I'm Delilah. Yeah, that's what the guy said on the phone. So, what's wrong with you? Excuse me? Damn. Straightforward. Take this job to get away from something. Yep. So, what's wrong? What's wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> that's a great idea. Go ahead. So Look, defensive. I hiked for two days, so I don't really follow whatever it is you're doing right now. You take a stab at what's wrong with me. Fine. Then can I what, sleep forever? Sure, buddy. Okay, now go ahead. Um. Uh, so what do we think is her? Oh, we have we have time. Oh, we have time. Oh shit. Um. Okay. Oh no. Shit. Um, Damn you're it. Probably just rebelling against a mom who wishes you'd given her grandkids Ooh. by the sound of your voice at least 15 years ago. <laughs> you come out here and it really grinds her gears and you love it. Can I sleep now? Well, 
She also says I fuck immature men, but in my defense, who wouldn't want a 28-year-old with ambition and energy and some fire in his belly in bed? <laughs> me. I'm going now. <laughs> Just a second. Now it's my turn. Girl, let me okay. sleep. Good night. Bye. Let's see. I don't know anything about you. I say you got fired from your job and have finally decided to write your novel. That's the sort of bullshit reason you'll find a man out in the woods. Good night. Welcome to the job. <laughs> <laughs> Firewatch. I like that. Cool. I like that font. We're typing. Good morning, Henry. Well, I guess good afternoon. <laughs> you probably slept like a rock. Anyway, uh, there's still a few hours of daylight to get some work in. I can see you at your desk, so oh. call me when you're ready. Oh, is she over there? Yeah, she's at the other tower. Over. Can I do anything right now? No. Photo with Julia. Oh. Be with you in a moment. Okay, now I'd like to explore a little, I think. Mm -hmm. Got a photo with Julia. Aw, oh. it's cute. There's Henri. I like I like Henry though. He's kinda got a funny attitude. Yeah. He's stocky. Oh! You threw the photo! <laughs> into wait, the wait, wait, wait. Wait, can I can I set it back down? I guess you can't. Oh, there we go. There we go. Put back. Oh. Oh. <laughs> no, I'm sorry, Julia. I'm sorry. Wow. Put it. That's the, that's that's the love you share for Julia. Put it. Here, Julia. Back. This is what I think about you. There we go. Oh wow, that was nice. <laughs> that's better. <laughs> um, let's see. We've got some pine cones laying around. Pine cones. I'm sure, they add a nice scent to the place. And bleach. Bleach and pie cones. What a duo. Old wood stove, supplies, fire extinguisher, old paper, question mark. It's a map. Okay, where are we at? Escape from two orcs. Oh, it's like a fake map. Yeah, it's like Doom Canyon. Death Mountain. Blood River. Rich's house. This is fun. They've got some goblin caves. Mm -hmm. a fortress. Treasure chest. Wait, where's the treasure chest? Lake of acid. Maybe we can refer to this later. Yeah. I'll place it on my desk. Or at least I'll try to. Well. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> Ooh. Let's roll. Is this ours or whoever belonged here who was here before? Cause Maybe. If so, it seems like they were some nerds. <laughs> Eight rolled the hard way. Richard oh, I can move it. Sturgeon. Neil Black has just exposed the largest underground gambling racket in the nation's history. With the mayor basking in the glory, it's only when consequences come knocking is Neil Black called on again. Neil Black is a lot of things, but a fall guy isn't one of them. <laughs> wow. Maybe if I'm bored, I can read this. Put it all on black. Just make this place a dump. <laughs> Start everything. Okay. Close this. Close. Oh. Okay. There we go. Close. Close. I'm trying to keep this place organized. There we go. Truck Alaska. Calendar. More supplies. Finder bed. Thermos. Thermos. Oh, we've got lots of books. The Singular Mind. By Jonas. Don't mind your mind alone. Ooh. Cool. I'm not going to read all the books. Glory. I like that you can put the books back up, like upright. In, yeah. In the... Death. Oh, it's, it's this guy again. Richard Sturgeon. Sturgeon. Follow, bodies. Explosive follow-up. Twelve bodies, zero leads, one man for the job. I like that. No! Damn it. <laughs> See, if this was me, I would like I wouldn't care. I, it's it's a very different key difference between the Sarah and I. <laughs> you, you just throw them on the Yeah, floor. I wouldn't like try to like close the shells or anything. <laughs> The Patriots, Russia. Wow, America. And the birds of Wyoming. 
it'd be nice if we could use this. You know, a weapon? To, uh, no, to oh. to identify birds. Oh, gotcha, 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 gotcha. That's its purpose. <laughs> this Old mustard? Scottish oil song. Oh, <laughs> I thought it was mustard. Wow, it's, you can really look at everything. Huh? There's a there's a mustard that has that similar yeah, <laughs> a similar um, you know, graphic. Got a pencil sharpener. Oh my gosh, there's so much stuff. Space puffs. Ooh, my favorite. Water jig. National Forest Guidebook, Suds. The Suds. The original Clean the Dishes. Wow. Cookbook, that's nice. Cast Iron. Can Fancy. I make some coffee? Can burn someone alive. Don't tell me I can <laughs> open all these. Okay, good. All the main stuff in. Oh, what's this? Map table. Map table. With a smiley face. Hey, that's the logo of the game. Can I crouch? Hey. Oh. Sorry. Guess I slept in. You got a relaxing, what, 14 hours of sleep? Ooh. Yeah. Jesus. I guess it's what, six? 6.45. Whoops. Don't worry about it. That hike puts everyone out of commission for a day or two. But now that you're up, let me quickly get you acquainted with the job. There's a thing in the middle of your room with a round map on it. Do you see it? Okay. Yes. Report map table. Okay, yeah, I see it. This is the Osborne Firefinder, invented in 1914 by W.B. Osborne? You use this to spot, you guessed it, fi- What the fuck? What, what? is it? Nothing, um, what? you- uh, What is it? You use this to- Oh, fuck me! Do I have language, lady? <laughs> Out your west-facing window. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? Fire. Where's Wes? Oh. Are those fucking- Fireworks? Oh. Wait. So this is West? Oh yeah, they are. They said no fireworks. I need you to confirm. Do you see them? Whoa, confirm. It's not legal, right? Uh, no. You need to get down there right now and stop them. Fire danger is through the fucking roof. Okay. Is that really my job? Your job is whatever I what say What did you it think? Is. The closest <laughs> ranger is like two days away. Go down there and set them straight. <laughs> Um, like kick the yeah, shit let's out do of them. Let's go. <laughs> like kick the shit out of them, sort of straight. No, 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 no. Jesus, oh. no. What? I'm not a cop. It's not like I've got a rule book over here. Just make sure they don't do threaten it. Threaten them like I threatened Take that guy shit. who tried right, to bug us. Don't feed anyone a knuckle sandwich. Get going. You'll probably need a rope to get down the shale between you and the lake, if I remember right. Where do I get there a rope? There should be one in the supply box on the way. The code is okay. one, two, three, four. It's <laughs> nice. actually that for all of them. Okay. <laughs> Smart. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I think we are good to go then. We'll lower the compass for now. We can be like one of those old time cartoons like, oh, I, you kids, <laughs> I oughta, you know, get out of here. Oh, can I read that thing? Can I read this? Or can we have to do like zoom in on it? Um, yeah. Can you have binoculars? If I can, I don't know how to. Can't sit right. Oh, I can zoom though. Oh. Oh, I can do it. I guess I can just read it like this. Um, 1989, April 28th. Tomorrow's the big day. Was going to drive up today, but there's a guy coming by from the university to grab another box of books. And he was a real pain in the ass about doing it before I left. Means I get to catch the Nuggets, Nuggets game. Nuggets game tonight. Never Nuggets. Not that Phoenix isn't going to take this uh, series in, in three, three straight. straight. There's always next year. Not sure I'll get another chance to write until I've settled in. I'm pretty sure the drive up to Lander, Lander. is going to wipe me. Hiked in last night. Got lost. Got lost a lot on the way here, and then. Uh, met my boss, Delilah, real piece of work. Hopefully we don't have to talk too much. Maybe I'm just grumpy from lack of sleep. Didn't get a wink last night and was pretty sure there was a bear sniffing around my tent. Uh-oh. I actually made a good fire last night and flipped through Julia's journal. I still feel weird about having it, but Susan thinks it's a good way to, what's the word she used? Stay connected to the real jewels. But I was sitting there looking at it and I don't know if it's a good idea for me to keep doing that. It didn't feel good, and yeah, like I said, I didn't sleep great. 
and uh, it didn't sleep great after that, but it was probably the bear. All right, it's late afternoon and I got to check in with the boss. I imagine I won't have a hell of a lot to do. Well, well I actually do. We got to, yeah, take care of business. Have you ever had to use a compass before? No. Like a real compass. Mm -mm. I never have, but I feel like I would not be good at it. Me neither. Oh. Wait, are you hanging from the... <laughs> I was just doing that to like. Not oh, I thought head. you were hanging from. <laughs> I know. I thought I was like. I'm like, swinging damn, Henry. Second. Maybe you are Batman. <laughs> oh, nice. Read the map. Okay. Wait a second. Oh my gosh! Whoa, this is crazy. Well, that's so a is it? Is it? Will it show me that on the map? Wait. I'm not just gonna be like. Two Forks. You're at Two that's, Forks. That's the Acid Lake, isn't it? Jonesy Lake? Yes. I wonder if we can find any cool stuff if we use that map. Maybe. Cache 303. Is that the one we're going to? Oh, 306, yeah. Yes. So we head this way. I don't think we even need the map right now. We are the map. 0.7 miles. As long as we follow the path. Yeah. I think we'll be good. Just follow the path. I hear those fireworks. I know. What kind of low life scum would be firing off fireworks in the Bastards. middle of a forest? Probably a bunch of teenagers. Man, yeah, hooligans. At least it's mostly peaceful. Otherwise. <clears throat> and out here, fireworks would... I mean, I feel like even if there wasn't danger of mm -hmm. fire, you know, it'd scare all the wildlife. Uh-oh. What? Turn right? What? <gasps> thought Is I heard this? something over here. Is that a bear? <gasps> Blocked, Blocked trail? Yo, okay. I'm hearing something. Please don't kill me. I just started... Is that a bear? Kind of sounded like it. Alright. There, be, there better be a gun in here with some ammo. <laughs> Could be like a flare gun or something. I don't, I don't know. Oh. Note from Dave. Dave. What's good, Dave? Uh, Ron, hey man, guy couldn't take it, so I locked up his lookout and put some stuff in the box. Found one of those bars you liked. Hiking into the park, but let's get fucked when I'm back. Dave. Nice. Anything on the back? Nope. No. Keep? Hold. What is... Oh. Oh, cool. I can keep notes. All right. Copy information. Okay, cool. I like that. This is fun so far. What do we get? Just like more information about the trail. So then maybe we can go back. Oh, so is that like the, that's the blocked. Now maybe it's like not blocked because you know. Medicine wheel. Yeah, so I wonder like. How open world if, is it? Yeah, if there's like, is there stuff to explore? Um, like, should you should we be exploring, um, right. like, outside of the main stuff? Or will it all kind of lead us to where we need to go anyway? Yeah. This is always stressful. I just don't want to jump the gun, because I do that a lot. Yeah. <laughs> More pine cones. You can use these to roughen up the hooligans. Get out of here! Granola bar. Okay. I can eat it. Is it old <laughs> nah no stuff this stuff never expires let's eat it we can lasso these kids deal with whoever's setting off fireworks yeah see we're gonna lasso them or i don't know he was kind of holding that kind of weirdly you, you might have to choke him out <laughs> <laughs> okay so those little red dots are like my path yes so it, it just has like a little bit of it yeah it fades away eventually 
All right, we, I feel like we should probably deal with the fireworks before they, you know, mm -hmm. burn this whole forest down. Oh, I can I can jog. jog. That's what I'm talking about. Let's go, Henry. <laughs> What's the leaping attack? How do we do that? Is it R1? Right trigger? <laughs> there we yeah, go. Yeah, look at Dave. <laughs> That's some speed. That is a speed jog oh. right there. Oh, here we go. Okay. This vista is incredible. Which one? Uh, down the hill from my tower. There's a canyon and then the rest of, well, everything. Yeah, you should see what I'm looking at. An eagle has been hovering over this gorge for the past hour. <laughs> and maybe if you're good, you can come by and see it at the end of the summer. Ooh, what's this? A tree. <gasps> Clawed up. Hey, there's a tree out here that's been ripped to hell. And? Don't you think that's, you know, like, uh, disconcerting? Yes. Henry, there are 500 pound grizzly bears out here. They sharpen their claws on trees. We don't have grizzlies in Colorado. People killed them a long time ago. Well, in the thoroughfare, they hunt people, they kill people, they bury their bodies, and then come back weeks later to eat them because they prefer rotten meat. Ew. Just, really? Just don't you think that's disconcerting? Yes. No, Henry, that's life. Christ, lady. <laughs> I feel like Henry had no clue what he was yeah, walking into. Yeah, like, I know. He just said, you know what, let's get out of here, and that was it. All right, where are these people? Oh, here we go. That's where we needed to go down. Wait, are we going to slide down? Yeah, that's what we, this is what we need the rope for. Okay. It's steep. Let's do it. Let's go. I hope it's sturdy. Rappel. Nice, I get to do it myself. Goodbye, cruel world. <laughs> oh. No! Uh-oh. It wasn't sturdy, damn it. Hang in there, Henry. That sucks. <laughs> hey. What the hell's wrong with you? My rope snapped coming down the shale slide. You didn't break anything, did you? No, I think I'll make it. Well, be careful for Christ's sake. It wasn't my fault. Yeah, you know. This is the rope you supplied me in the, right. uh, the box, so. I feel like we should be the one that's mad. Yeah. Is this another way? Yeah. Oh yeah, we need another rope. Hey, there's a tie-off point off here, just a little way from the shale slide. Oh, you ready to get back on that horse, huh? Well, I can't go any further, is what I'm saying. That heads south down to the creek, but you should be able to get to the lake just by continuing west, without any, you know, mountaineering. All right. Cool. It's a long summer, but you can explore later. Alrighty then. We are really far. Are they here? Are they at this camping spot? I wonder. They could be. Well, not anymore. Henry is on the case. Report, report meadow. meadow? What is there to report about a meadow? Nice camping spot. These cliffs down here are something. Hey, I'm not sure where to look. It is a hell of a nice camping spot down here by the lake. I haven't been down there in years, but yeah, Jonesy Lake area is perfect. I'm staring at the big outcropping down here, but I'm not quite sure where to look for our uh, pyrotechnicians. Mm. Maybe keep heading west toward the lake. Mm -hmm. All right, simple enough. You got it. Oh, what's this? Beers. Finding a bunch of empty beer cans. They threw them all over hell. Are you fucking serious? Yeah, Unfortunately. Sure I would like to retract my statement about knuckle sandwiches. <laughs> Feed away. Let's do it. Yeah. Can I, like, yeah, clean up? I'll just stuff them in my pockets. Are they still good? What? <laughs> Red Eagle. Wow. I'm gonna get them all, don't you worry. Beer. I don't remember the last time I had a beer. No? It's been quite a while. I'm kind of craving some. We were talking what? about beer the other day when we were walking. And nothing too crazy, just like a, you know, it's a beer. That's it. A cold brew. Cold. Yes. Oh, it's a raccoon. Raccoon. 
<laughs> Report. Why am I just reporting everything? Um, there's a critter out here. A raccoon. I can't understand <laughs> you. Because I'm whispering. Because you're whispering. She's quite the Let's community. be friends. Be my friend. I'm so pears, alone. Pears, pears. No. Yes. Ah. Delilah. What the hell? What the hell? I'm doing a crossword and I figured out the theme. It's homonyms. Just get away, my pears, friend. Pears, pears, wow. pears. The clue was couples peeling fruit. <laughs> anyway, hope you're having a good afternoon. Did you Thanks. have to radio that to me? Okay, cool. I think that was just a fun little. The, the little experience conversation yeah so we have beer fireworks we might find a dead body i hope not i kind of hope we do that would be pretty crazy let's get some mystery okay yeah, that was the other one cool so i cleaned up the beer cans i saw a raccoon yes let's move onward to the lake Oh, what's this? We're not done. Backpacks? Oh, the fire! Maybe they are missing! Uh-oh. The bear. They left their packs tied up here. Don't fuck with them. The last thing we need is some hikers filing a report about harassment. Can I look in their bags? They're harassing the forest. <laughs> oh, are those- oh, are they skinny dipping? Are those These clothes up there? These sons of bitches. Oh, look. They decided to have a campfire, too. You know, they color-coded the fire danger signs in case people were illiterate. But I guess that doesn't take into account just plain stupid, does it? You're always gonna have that. Can we... Dummies. Can we pour some of the beer? <laughs> That'd make it worse. Oh shit, ferret or Irish. <laughs> Is that pretty good or something? Yo, she's safe for later. Safe for later. Hey, they left oh, it out here. Oh. They left half a bottle of whiskey. Decent stuff. Drunk pyromaniacs. <laughs> Fucking great. These are the fireworks. Oh my gosh, there's so much to talk about. Found the fireworks. They didn't even try to hide them. Uh, well, confiscate them. Okay. Oh, we're gonna confiscate them, all right, and then use it on them. <laughs> <laughs> we have our weapon. Or maybe we can scare away the bear if we're in trouble. What do you know? People with shitty manners drink shitty beer. <laughs> what? You don't like to call my light on a hot day? No, no, I do. But then again, I didn't say my manners were any good. Better than these fucking litter bugs, though. That's for sure. I like how we're Henry. He, it's his first day on the job, and he's really getting into. He it, is really know? immersed like, in his job. Wow, these guys are assholes. I hate them, and you know, I feel like he's not very invested in this, you know, place yet. But he's he's definitely acting the part. Yeah, he is. All right, stamped out their fire. Oh, was there more? Well, I put out their fire. Man, I want to name that forest fire something good, too. Hey, I can always restart it. <laughs> uh, no. I think your first instinct was the right one. Nice. We'll leave their backpacks. Let's check out their... Oh, more beer cans to clean up. Wow. Bastards. I feel go. like this is the case too. With any hike I've ever been on, there's always a spot you find with beer cans or yeah, plastic beer bottles, bottles or chips. Like Even if there's no campfire, just somewhere bags. where stupid kids were hanging out. It's so annoying. Think they own the place. I know. Here we go. A flannel. Well, they left their clothes out to dry. It looks like uh, two people. Uh, what if they're naked? Won't that be exciting? Look, they're obviously still there, so tell them off and then head back. We should get rid of their clothes. Yeah, burn them. <laughs> but we, we got rid of the fire. <laughs> we can light it back up with the fireworks. Uh-oh. A bra? Oh, oh my no. gosh. I don't want to deal with this. Well, be careful. We could see some nudity. I found a bra. Music? A nudie pyromaniac. Remain professional. What am I going to do when I examine this bra? This is what, 89? <laughs> They're probably listening to what? Did I take it? Oh, wait. Oh. Or did I <laughs> Hold for like, the store for later. <laughs> this might come in handy. <laughs> uh, maybe listening to like Madonna <gasps> or something. They are naked. Wow. 
<laughs> Why pick it up just to throw it back on the ground? Like, we can clearly see it's a pair of underwear. Right. I like the song. Oh, another bra. There's two ladies. Uh, there are, uh, panties. <laughs> there are what? I don't want to say that word again. Why? Because you're 12? <laughs> Let's go. Are they dead or just naked? Probably both. Oh, I see them out there. Right what do they have? Found them. I found them in the lake. Skinny dipping. Yeah. Is that a guy over there? <laughs> hey, Chelsea. <laughs> Enjoy dealing with that. We are an officer. You guys are going to burn down the forest. We're an officer of the law and of earth. <laughs> Trail sign. Okay. Let's turn off their music. Oh. So they have to stop partying. I'm sorry. It's okay. I'll get them on last stereo. Couple. Oh. oh, hey, put that down. They're drunk? Seriously, it was expensive. Fucking cool it with the fireworks. <laughs> Please just put it down. We won't light anymore. This guy's crazy, Chelsea. Hey. Oh, you probably have a tiny dick. Chelsea. Hey. It's wow. I'll throw it in the water. Although that would probably be littering, huh? Bro, you're just some um, sad man out in the woods. I know you guys are setting up bottle rockets out here, okay? How? Because you're hiding in the bushes, spying on us? Give him a break, Lily. He probably hasn't seen booze. Hey! Listen. <laughs> he's probably still a virgin. And now he's over there with his mouth. You don't know a damn thing about me. You, you <laughs> Light another firework and it won't be your stereo. Yeah! <laughs> Oh. <laughs> you can't just harass girls in the woods. Let's get out of here. There, we're not even littering. Yeah, let's put it back. That was great. <laughs> yeah. That's amazing. Get out of here, you filthy animals. I guess I'll just leave it here. I don't think it works anymore, though. Hey, that go okay? <laughs> it went great. <laughs> it's done. <laughs> it's done. Well, that's ominous. Hopefully there won't be any more trouble. Good. Thanks for going down there. Oh, gosh. I'm having a great time. How about that you? That was fun. That was great. I like that. Report trail sign. Those, hey, those are trail mean. Two Forks Tower down here near the lake? Yeah, that's your tower. So I should go this way. Well, you're not climbing back up that slide. Right. I mean, no, this, is, not. this is our turf. They can't just come in here. Yeah, with I mean, I guess they didn't know, but... And boom boxes and fireworks. <laughs> Very rude. You know. Okay, so we're going back up, what, Thunder Canyon? Thunder Canyon. This place is big. It is huge, isn't it? Like, really Repeat big. Tea. Yeah. Uh -huh. Um. Okay, so I wonder if we can go back to the medicine wheel. Probably. Yeah, so oh, so it marks the little things on there. Okay, the little cliffs. Yes. Where we attach the rope. So, well then, do we need another rope, though? Well, yeah, we will eventually. Okay. So we have to go back to way... All right, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Ooh. Did we bring, like, a flashlight with us or anything? I hope so. What was this? A secret. <laughs> Oh, it goes back here. Oh, oh. Okay. But it's blocked. Oh, we can get through that. Oh, unless you poison this, though. It could poison. be poisonous. Oh, look at the, the other yeah, thorns everywhere. You can do, <laughs> do a little dive <laughs> in, in between there. Hmm. We need some calmness after all that chaos. After all that, yeah. Wow. What an inter interaction. So this goes up to another cache. Oh, should we just should check, we check it out? Let's see. I bet if we if we're not supposed to go, it'll be blocked off. Yeah, it'll tell us, right? I take it you fell prey to the Forest Service's big recruiting effort when it comes to you know how the hell you ended up out here. Actually, I went looking for the job. I just. Wanted to get out of town for a while. Well, you've come to the right place. Thanks to last summer, we got a bump in Forest Service budget and can actually afford to have you. Nice. 
cool. Mm. What happened mm. last summer that accounted for this um, windfall? Jeez. I mean, the federal government almost let Yellowstone National Park <laughs> burn to the Damn. ground. Ring a bell? <laughs> Why would they do Yellowstone that? Yellowstone is like, what, 15 miles away? Why would they do that? Well, the short story is that for 60 years, we got very good at not letting forest fires happen. And then about 15 years ago, they decided that forest fires in wilderness areas like Yellowstone should be left to burn. So that's what they did. I can't believe you didn't hear about this. There were reports oh. that the entire park was gone. Dan Rather way. telling the country that President Reagan didn't care on the nightly news. I mean, what the hell's he going to do? Mm. Smoke jump in and snuff one out for the giver? Yeah. So what should they have done? I don't even know. By the time the Yellowstone folks realized the little fires weren't going to burn themselves out, a hundred thousand acres were gone. It's Yellowstone, you know? People don't want to touch it. But we touch it every single day. But hey, I got a 30 cents an hour raise because we can't have another fiasco. If the goddamn park can burn down again. Let me pick up this turtle. Whoa, I, uh, I found a turtle. Maybe it's a... Uh... Tortoise, it's a thing with a shell. <laughs> well, isn't that something? It's actually pretty cute. Is it... Well, Henry, if you decide you want it to keep you company... No Can I ha have a pet turtle? Now, what do I call it? Looks like a... Uh, oh, gosh. Mm. Shelly, hello, oh, I'm Shelly Duvall. Bucket Jr. Aww. Bucket Jr. That is... You wouldn't understand, Delilah. It has sentimental value. Do I get to keep him? Oh my god. <gasps> Hello! I love you! What? <laughs> it's Bucket Jr. I feel like I shouldn't be taking him away from his natural environment. Wow. <laughs> Yo, let's go! <laughs> that is amazing. Wow. I love Bucket Jr. Now, you know, if there's some rowdy customers, we can throw it like in Mario. Ta! <laughs> I just stuffed him in my pocket. Hope he's okay in I there. I know I feel kind of bad. Well, this lake does seem like a good spot to swim, even if the last people to do so were assholes. Yeah, right now, though, it's all snow melt, so you'll freeze your balls off. But as hot as it's been, maybe that's a fair trade. Starting to feel like it. Wow. Okay, I feel very rewarded for exploring right that now. That was great. Yeah, so you like it. I'm going to explore a lot. Yes. You can be sure for the rest of this. Any chance of those kids getting a disease in this lake? Like diphtheria or consumption or... <sighs> consumption? <laughs> not if they're not 19th century chimney sweeps, no. You know, whatever. I mean, if they drank a bunch, Giardia maybe, but probably not this time of year. Hmm. Well, that's too bad. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. He wants them to suffer. He does. They're pretty mean. Okay. I don't want to be out here too late. I know there's another uh, thing over here, so I'll check that a out. A cache. Is it here? Yeah. One. Two. two three. Nice. Okay. Is there anything to talk, to talk about this time? Oh, yes. Sweater. Uh, I found a sweatshirt from the University of Eastern Colorado. There's a University of Eastern Colorado? I really don't think there oh. is. Why would somebody make that up? Right, and then put it on a sweatshirt. The world's a weird place. Maybe it was an inside joke. Go Bighorns. Yes, oh. right? I was going to say. I was like, wait a minute. Oh, should... that's I saw cool. the ram. Yes, oh. I did it. I got it. Nice. Yeah. I knew it was like, is that a real college? Because I was, was, I was thinking of Colorado State, which yeah. is an actual college. They're actual Rams. But then I was like, there's a Ram on there. Wait a minute. Eastern Colorado. Go Bighorns. Joel, nice. we just reacted to the first episode. Go check it out on I YouTube. Never. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> I never would have gotten that. Nice work. Thanks. Can I add this to my book collection? It's Sturgeon. Richard Sturgeon. He's back. <laughs> Neil Black thought a trip to California would do him good. He'd soak up some sun, drive a convertible, and maybe even enjoy a poolside drink with a tiny umbrella. But it didn't work out that way. 
Emergency landing after murder in first class. I like these books. I want to read them for myself. Can I just... I could carry it with me all the way back. Yeah, I'll uh, drop it for now. A note. Ron. Oh, is it the same guys again? It's Dave and Ron. Oh. 86. Got some bad news back home, so hopefully they'll let me get out of let me out of here for a while. Who's to say though, budgets being what they are? Did you get my note about what went down in Wapiti? Sheriff isn't too pleased with me, but I don't know. I probably overdid it. Wish you would have been there. I guess you must have got hung up. P.S. Amigos is Spanish and Profesional is this Italian? <laughs> okay. Nice. No flip. Ron. Okay. Okay. I just I, now I just want to explore everything. Yeah, we can. I w I wish it did, like it did mark. I guess. Well, right here we can't. I mean, we can't go down there because we don't have a rope. Yeah. So we'll have to leave that for later. Okay. Um, I think that was everything. It's a little hard to see. I'm bringing my book with me. Sturgeon. All right. <laughs> it's kind of a <laughs> scary. scary book cover. <laughs> All right, back on track. Oh, we might not be able to have it while we climb up. Oh, man. Damn it. I wanted to bring the book. Oh, no, you're going to end up littering. It's all good. Maybe it's like... It's paper, right? It's, it's paper. biodegradable. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> or you can just burn it. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I was going to say, that wouldn't be good either. Climbing oh, up. I can keep it. Nice. That's That's clutch. Clutch gaming mechanics. And I can still use my uh, radio. Perfect. Nice. We are taking this book to the depths of our journey. <laughs> <laughs> like, only you would do something guy. like this, man. You know? I just feel like, you know, our, our bookshelf is a little a little light. Yeah, we could for use sure. Some, some more stuff. a bit of a confession to make what what is, what is it? it um look, i was i was drunk last night <gasps> when i woke delilah up to yeah well you're not the first boss to be guilty of that <laughs> True. i know i just i know i can get a little pushy you know putting you on the spot about uh why you're out here and stuff and you thought it was a good idea to get into your um love life i guess you'd call it yeah um <clears throat> anyway i'm uh I'm sorry. It's fine. I'll, I'll, I'll keep that sort of a thing to, uh, to a minimum. Anyway, let me know when you get back to your lookout. She looks like she was a bit, uh, I don't know, nervous. I feel like we should be already getting a little close. Yeah. Oh, oh. No, not a storm. Thunder. Oh. Hey, I heard some thunder. Yeah, I've got eyes on a storm out to the north. Well, that's bad, right? Because of the lightning? It just means we yes. really busy. Hurry home and try not to get hit by lightning. I'll try my best. I got hit by lightning when I was nine. Did Damn. I, really? I got hit by lightning when I was nine years old, so I'm safe. It's Is not it a joke? Strike twice and all that. Well, there was an old lookout named Roy Sullivan who got hit by lightning seven times. Damn. I don't like the sound of that. Yeah, well, if it makes you feel any better, it wasn't what killed him. What killed him? Suicide. Would you believe? Oh. Oh, well, that oh that took, yeah, it took a turn I wasn't... That took a dark turn. I know. <laughs> well, we can stay up all night reading our new book as yes. we watch the lightning. Are you sure we're going to read this book that night? I mean, look at the cover, <laughs> you know? Please don't be another book in here. That would suck, right? I can come back for it. Ooh. We're good. Flashlight. Oh. oh, radio. No, no. Ah, wow. Okay. Damn it. I tried. Well, that's cool. Mm -hmm. Don't need it too much at the moment. <sighs> What's that? Some sort of lookout point? Some point, yeah. 
Um, is it Beartooth Point? Yeah, that's, that's way up there, and that's it's getting close to where she's at, Delilah. Where are we right now? Okay, so we just got cash. What is it, three o something? And there's a cave here as well. Do we have to go through the cave? Yes, I bet. We do. Yeah, it heads back to Two Forks Lookout. Okay, so it's about to get you know. That's why we need the flashlight. Like the descent up in here. There's a horn in here. There's a horn or an antler or whatever. Well, antlers are made of bone and horns are made of the same stuff as your fingernails. I guess this is a bone. Antler. A ranger must have found it this spring. Examine. Nice. All right. We're not taking those with us. I'm that sorry. That could be a good weapon. <laughs> Return it to the earth. Okay. okay. Good Got book. my trusty book. Let's just see what is this way. Oops. I wonder if this way is blocked off as well. Right. So this is go. This goes up, right north. Gap in bush. Oh, do we need like a weapon? Or oh, we can't do it without the book. My book. Oh, it's saving. Well, this is definitely not the way back to the lookout. Yeah. That's quite a hike. Hmm, what, what do you think? think? Oh. <laughs> oh no, you're supposed to tell me what to do. Hmm. Oh yeah, you're right. I can't bring my book. Oh, so if you want to keep going, we could go with the book. Uh, let's just take a look, let's take a look. <laughs> Maybe he'll be like, oh, I really should be getting back. Right, it'll, it'll pull a twin mirror on us and just block us out of the area. <laughs> Maybe we can get other pets, like, a skunk. A, a mouse. Oh. A skunk? Why would we want a skunk? I don't know. I mean, they're cute and all, but I don't want to smell bad all the time. <laughs> oh. What was that? Are you what are these people? power lines doing out here to the north? Those are comms lines. They connect folks like me to Central Command. Got it. And if you can see them, that means you turn north of the cave and <laughs> far, far away from Two Forks. I knew that. You should head back. But do I have Ooh. to? Right. Are we? It's a, we're rope breakers, right? That's a nice little detail. It is. That's where she's at. No, oh, I could go say hi. Let's go keep up. Keep I guess up five miles is pretty far, huh? Oh yeah, I know. Let's take a look at the map. How far along? Oh, so it's we make up a lot of ground. So she's oops. Um, is that like off the map? To th yeah, to thoroughfare. Yeah. Lookout? So there's multiple ways to this area. I know. Am I getting in over my head? What's this? Propane tank. No, it is just an outhouse. It looks like a tank for from here, but it is an outhouse. Uh, hey, I found a structure that might have been an outhouse once, I think. Whoa, uh, you don't need my permission to go to the bathroom, but, you know, use abandoned shitters at your own peril. <laughs> Do I need it? <laughs> I guess not. I mean, I have been out here for a while. <laughs> That's true. <gasps> What's this? House. Oh my gosh. Secrets. Maybe there's a ghost that lives here. Let me in. But I, I can't. Wait. There you go. Ooh. Can I radio about this? Yes, you can. I feel like this is the sort of thing I should be able to. I saw it pop up. Ah, there you there go. go. Anything I should know about the cabin at the top of this hill? Hello? Okay, then. Uh-oh. What was that all about? What? That's very strange. Oh, my God. Holy fuck. <laughs> Whoa, that's crazy. So this was a lookout. Oh god. This is terrifying. <laughs> Pretty. Yeah. <Whew. laughs> I'm getting nervous. Cigarettes. So do you think she intentionally uh, didn't tell me about this? I know, what if it's like a dark secret? You know? And we can go down, it seems. 
Oh no. Oh. Destroy guitar. Is there a fire? It seems like it. It's burnt. Anything to see? Not really. Hmm. Is this related somehow? Burned bed. Burned bed. The forest is taking it back over. Oh, oh, oh my God. fuck! <laughs> <laughs> it's my little raccoon buddy! <laughs> you good? <laughs> oh, I got scared. That scared the shit out of me. Come <laughs> on. I'm, I'm sniffing around an old lookout and I got attacked by a raccoon. Did he bite you? I, I don't think so. He scared the shit out of us. Yeah, you're probably fine. Wait, is the lookout you're in burned to a crisp and filled with raccoons? Yeah. Are there more raccoons? Apparently. Ooh, Hawk's Rest. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I see what you're doing. You're gonna tell me what, a spooky what story? What do you mean? I just like to stay out of <gasps> haunted places myself. Okay, go on. Out with it. You want to hear about Raccoon Carter? Oh no. <laughs> so, some years ago, way before my time, a man named Winthrop Carter was stationed at Hawk's Rest. He was an angry, angry loner. The story was he lost his life savings betting on horse fights. Damn. Horse Yeah, wait, what, wait, what is a horse fight? Yeah. So is that a thing? What a lot of us do in times of trouble. He signed up with the Forest Service to watch for fires. His first night in his lookout, there was a break-in, and the break-ins didn't stop. Finally, one night, he awoke to find someone in his lookout. A raccoon? He reached for his hand axe and threw oh. it at the figure. And just before the axe killed its target, he heard a small voice cry, Help! What was it? A raccoon. <laughs> well, of course. See, back in these days, the Forest Service wasn't so good about dropping off food and supplies, and... Well, Carter was hungry, oh, no. so he did what anyone would do. <gasps> he skinned and ate it. No! Eventually, Carter didn't want to eat anything else. It was raccoons or nothing. But one Shit. night, as he sharpened his raccoon blade, there was a scratching at the door. He looked towards it and again heard a tiny voice. Help! Help! Uh -huh. It's getting dark. He approached slowly, knife in hand, and ripped the door open. But no one was there. But then, from under the bed, he heard another small voice. Help! Help! Carter looked under the bed, and of course, nothing was there either. So, startled, but believing he was just tired, Raccoon Carter went out hunting, and for the first night in months, came up empty. Oh. Now, in bed, his stomach rumbling, he hears the voice again. Help! Help! And now, he wonders if it's coming from inside of him. But then, a figure appears at the edge of the bed. Again, he reaches for his axe, but in its place is another figure. Oh. He looks for the door, and there are more and more figures. Beady, That's glowing spooky. eyes peering yes. out through dark masks. He leaps out of bed, horrified, slips, and hits his head. And before he can get up, he feels hundreds of little fingers and razor-sharp teeth digging into his skin. Ooh. Far away in Bighorn Tower, the lookout reported hearing a voice echoing through the valley. Loud at first, and then smaller and smaller until they faded away forever. Help! 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 <laughs> she loves telling the story, story doesn't she? <laughs> His ghost still wanders through the valley, moaning, Help! Help! On hot summer nights. Bro. Oh, that's true, yeah. So, <laughs> if Raccoon Carter died, how do we know this story? They found his body ripped to shreds by <laughs> raccoons, and and Hawk's rest was filled to the brim with raccoon pelts. It's probably what caused the fire. Nice. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Does anything, Henry? <laughs> wow, what well a story. Said. Yeah, that's cool. Oh, there's a bed in here, and from the looks of it, it's where the fire was the worst. No comment. Yeah, she's pretty quiet about all of this, except for that story. Yeah. All right, well, I think that's a wrap in here. What a crazy place. That raccoon jump scare. Did it get you? Not as much as it got you. It really got me. <laughs> Can I go out here? Ooh. Probably shouldn't all get blown away. Yeah, I wonder if you, you can't die in this game, can you? <laughs> I don't know. Let's put Maybe. that theory to the test. Oh, nice.
A cash. I feel like I've already gotten most of them. Probably not, but. What if there's gonna be one that's not locked? Or oh, not one, two, three, four. That'd be interesting. Got a hat? Huh. Found an old hat from a Korean war vet. You'd be surprised how many former service members take this gig. Hmm. Well, makes sense. I imagine if you've been through war, you probably can't get enough silence. Hmm. Put on? I can put it on? Can I do that? I guess so. I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> I like that little animation. I guess no one else is using it. The cave. What's in this cave down here? In Thunder Canyon? Thunder Canyon? <laughs> hey, I didn't name it. But in the cave? I don't know, rocks? NFS tells people not to go too far in there. It's pretty dangerous. What? So... So, I say, fuck it. You're a grown man, you can go where you want. <laughs> great. Used to go caving with someone back in Colorado. She loved it. Might be great to explore it sometime this summer. Well, that could be fun. Obviously, be very careful. <laughs> oh, we can play with her a little bit. Or play with... Yeah, sure. It doesn't seem that dangerous. Whoa, whoa. Oh, no! Henry! Seriously, it's completely fine in here. God damn it. <laughs> She's, she's messed with me, too, a little bit. Right. Hello? Oh! Oh. You can play it again. Oh, I guess we're out now. We're out of uh, options? Yeah. She was concerned for you, Delilah. I'm permanently on edge on the lookout for raccoons. I am. <gasps> Ooh, what's this? This cave is gated off. It's to stop spelunkers from dying without getting the keys from the Forest Service office first. Makes sense. Although Debbie says she lost them like three years ago, so oh. maybe its mysteries are locked away for good. There's got to be a way we ah, can get damn. in. Yeah, but maybe you can find another one to get your caving kicks in. Oh, this one's so close to home and convenient, though. Oh, sorry, Hank. Okay, I really need to get this book. Oh no. Oh no, let me take my book. No, is this Please. the end? I should be able to. Yes. <laughs> what if it didn't let you? But like, if he really wanted to forget, he could. He would probably take his ring off, right? But he hasn't done that. That's true too. Maybe he's just, he's just being guarded, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. Cause like, if he says, if he talks about her, then she might start asking questions and he might not want to talk about her. To Delilah. Whoa. Figure. Oh. There's some guy out here giving me the creeps. Who are you? The creeps? Oh, hey. Shit, that's creepy. Wait, he's Literally. looking at you? Is he doing anything else? I I don't think so. Henry, there's there's something I something someone should have told you about this area. She's joking. What is it? There's people who hike here. It's outside <laughs> come on the whole thing and people come and go as they please it's 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 madness yeah yeah okay i get it look bumping into someone in the middle of nowhere is part of the fun yeah it can depends. be yeah it depends on the situation where are you at you think Man. that's something or it's nothing i mean it was it was a little weird how he was shining the, the light right in my face and didn't say anything Whoa. That feels like a dangerous thing. I like how we jumped. <gasps> okay, so we've got. Oh. Was there another way? Yeah. I hope my turtle is handling all this movement. Oh, yeah, I forgot about Bucket Jr. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so there's a way up that way. That's the way I came from. There's also a way up this way, a bit more of a, a climby yes. route. Let me consult my map one more time. Okay, so we do have some different paths here. Different paths. Let's go up this way. Up to cliffs. With my book. <laughs> it's going to feel really satisfying once you put that book <laughs> on the shelf. I hope it all works out and it doesn't like put me in a cutscene or something and then I lose it. You lose it? That'd be terrible. Huh. 
Mental. Woo, we are getting a workout in today. Yes. Let's go. Let's climb these rocks. I definitely couldn't do this. We need a My montage. Arms would be way too weak. Hey, it's the 80s. We need some 80s music montages going on here. <laughs> yes. Nothing over here. I think you can climb them. Yeah. <laughs> I could try. Maybe if I was in like a life or death situation. <laughs> yeah, see, you just need some adrenaline. Yeah, it's, it's a little dark out here, huh? Mm -hmm. And we don't even have our light on. We're just kind of winging it. All by ourselves. We're living on chaos. <sighs> nice. We did it. Oh, oh shit. I knew that was going to come. I was like, wait a minute. Why are they emphasizing the sign? <laughs> Damn it. Ah, oh my god, we just climbed up that. That's crazy. I was worried that it was going to break the other way, and that's a wrap yeah. for good old Henry. Oh. Hey, you keep your lights on at night? I'm doing a crossword puzzle. <laughs> I, I do a lot of crossword puzzles. Gotta keep yourself busy somehow. Yes. Uh, well, that trail isn't closed anymore. Oh, really? Yeah, I took care of the black path. Um, <laughs> it was backbreaking, but... You know, anything for the service. Well, thank you. Anytime. Wow, we're such a good citizen. Yes, he is. We're back. Hallelujah. Quite a busy first day out. Yes, it was. Um, so it's uh, just the outhouse then, in terms of going to the bathroom? Yep. You're a man, Henry. You can go wherever you want. Well, number one at least. <laughs> and, uh, full disclosure, I pee wherever I want as well. Yeah, might as well. You know? Alright. How, how's this gonna go? Nice. What? Old baseball. Catch. Does it have anything fun on it? No? A signature of Babe Ruth? No? Maybe we can get a dog. A dog too? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I like the outhouse in a rustic, I'm um, roughing it sort of way. Yeah, it's a little privacy among the seemingly endless expanse of, well, <laughs> privacy. I like it all the same. I guess we don't actually need to use the outhouse. Wow. Hey, we should use it now while we're out here rather than waking up in the middle of the night. Yes. And having to trudge all the way down here. But what do I know? <laughs> So this generator is all the power I've got out here. Yep, it doesn't go through much gas, and, well, you don't have much in the way of electronics, so... <laughs> what about my hair dryer? Oh, I'm sorry. You might just have to make peace with frizzy locks. I could never. Oh, Henry. Hey, we just get along so well, don't yeah, we? Yeah, we're vibing, aren't we? Oh, wait a second. Interesting. Oh, it's just the door. <laughs> you, think De you think Delilah is just like an escape? Like him talking to her and like bonding with her. I mean, I don't know. I mean, she is the only person that we can talk to. So That's true, too. I do understand that, at least. Mm -hmm. All right, here we go. What awaits us? I feel like we've barely done anything. Oh, what? <gasps> My typewriter! Oh, shoot. We got a mystery in her hands. Uh, Was it that stranger? Yes. Well, my typewriter is on the ground outside of my tower. You right? Yeah, look, uh, the That's not the takeaway no. here. How the hell did... You should get inside. Fuck me. Listen. The music. I can pick this up later. <laughs> I need to deliver this book. Bro, it's could we do this shit. And solve this mystery of this man. Oh, the music's so good. It is good. I like it. Yeah, that, oh gosh, the idea of having an, an intruder all the way out here by yourself. That's terrifying. And he's so unprotected. <gasps> Who did this? The teens? <gasps> my, my books! My books! Wait, but they're all over the floor now, no! No! <laughs> There's a, a lot to report. Shit, okay, first of all, let me get my typewriter. Okay. That's important to me. Yes. So I'm gonna get it. Wow. And then I'll report everything. Unbelievable. 
Is who it would, in working order, at least? Who would do this? Yeah, very strange. <laughs> Get the baseball, too. <laughs> we have uh, Bucket as well, Junior. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm glad he wasn't here when the the people struck. Yeah. Here, put this back. Okay, let's report. Report. Someone broke in. Hey, what? They just, they wrecked the place. Threw my typewriter out the window. Motherfucker. Holy shit. Um, I'll let the Forest Service know what happened. Oh. Wait, no, I didn't. Oh, I can't. I want to. Can I? I want to put things all back. I don't know. Can I not do that? Okay. Maybe. Maybe he'll do it himself, and I don't have to actually. Yeah. Do it. The place is trashed. Okay, Damn. I put in a oh. call. Okay. Thanks. Do you have any idea who would have done this? We just got here. Hmm. Would the girls have done that? Maybe the girl. At the I don't know who's out here. I mean, I don't know either. I've never. Would they even know where I live? Violence. Great. I, I can't believe someone would do this. I mean, I worry about bears and fires, and that's about it. And now I've got to worry about dude, who knows what out there. Uh, okay. In the morning, I'm gonna call my friend Patty, who works the desk down in Cody. They keep a list of everyone who's officially been in and out of the trailhead since. Okay. I don't know forever, and see if we can get a list of names. We won't get much, but at least if anything else happens, we can refer to it and see if anything comes up. Thanks. I need you to feel safe out here. Well, at the moment, I don't. <laughs> Just give me a gun. Well, I sure don't now. You will. I, I promise. Hmm. <gasps> Day two. I wonder how many days are there. Did that scare you? Oh, I thought you were the... like the day two transition. <laughs> I really do want to keep this place tidy. It would just, it would feel nice. It would. Okay, we're cleaned up a little. Nice. Wake up. Whiskey. whiskey. Can I drink the whiskey? Oh, yeah, that's from you, what you stole from the camp. Hey, wake up. I'm awake. <laughs> I'm awake. I'm awake. What's your problem? Our problem. Damn. Sorry, our problem. 4.30? That storm knocked out the phone line I used to talk to the service, which means no. we're cut off. I tried oh, radioing no. out, and that's not working either. We're all alone. That's bad. I don't really know why that would be the case. Can I go fix it? Well, you probably can't, but what you can do is hike out to where the wire runs through your area and report back if it's down. Then I can track down a ranger to get someone on it. Okay, I can do that. Where is it? Remember that cave you hiked through yesterday? Yeah, of course. So you're gonna want to go back there, go through okay, it, and that's where keep I was going before, straight I think. to the north when you come out. Will do. Thanks, Hank. All right, so we've already done all that. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> it's Henry. What you don't like, Hank? <laughs> yeah. I that's don't not my like name. Hank. But thanks rhymes with Hank. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. Okay. Okay. All right. Wow. Okay. She doesn't even know her name. <laughs> Wait, can I bring it like with me? We're safer later. We'll put it back for now. Hey, where's my picture? Oh, it's still on the floor. Oh. That belongs. What if like it's there. your book is no longer there? It like it honestly might not be. Wait. Wait a second. Where is it at? Wait, it was over the the bookshelf. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Here it is. Is that is that it? Is this it? Yeah, it's still here. Hallelujah. I don't know if I can. Oh, I can. Amazing. Nice. Manly. Is that what it says? Yes. Manly thermos. It's a okay. man's thermos. Thermos built by a man. Anything different? What is that? Is that operation? But it's called Pre president? president? But it, that looks like a doctor. Yeah. I can't believe they didn't take the space puffs. The guy who who <laughs> took who ransacked our place. I know. I would have taken the space puffs. Let's take a, another look. Oh, we can um, radio about this. 
Hey, there's a map in my tower that I'm pretty sure is not USGS regulation. Um, unless I've unknowingly been assigned to work in two orcs <laughs> and the lake to the east is made of acid. Uh, that sounds erroneous. Looks like the previous resident was into fantasy. Cool. You can say that again. Um, so where is the treasure chest? Where, there's one up there. Mm. I wonder if it means anything or if it's just... Are, they, are this, Is it the same thing as the stashes? Are the stashes the treasure chests? That could be it. That might be it. Right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, because there is... Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Box by this box? Oh! <gasps> Bucket! <laughs> That's where a bucket is. In a, is this a cardboard box? Oh, look at him. He's living life. Wait, maybe I shouldn't have picked him up. Okay, we can put him back. Can we get him like a view? Some new stuff, maybe. Maybe we can. Maybe we can like find him some upgrades. Yeah. I love you, bucket. <laughs> I don't know if you're happier here than you were out there in the wild, but at least you're protected. He's protected from the elements. Well, I can't even guarantee that because well, this place was broken into. Yeah. Okay, let's get my uh, my stuff. Out into the unknown. We're going to check out the power lines, right? Yes, because someone. I don't know. I feel was, like. Well, the storm. He said the storm, or she said the storm. Is there a killer? You think that it, there could be something else? Or what if? Now, I think there's, there's going to be any psychological components to this. Like, what if it was us that made the mess? Ooh, look at the fog. That's yeah, nice. see, you know you know what I mean? I don't know. Maybe that's a little too much. Okay. So, this is where we went before, right? Jonesy Lake? Yes, on the west side. Okay. I want to head this way first. Because I want to check out that thing to the... Was it to the west? Maybe. Yeah, because there was a few things that we didn't see, right? Or to the south, the medicine wheel. I want to see what that oh. is. Oh. Gotcha, gotcha, I guess gotcha. I could have gone a different way, but we're already heading this way, so. Yeah. We'll come back the other way. Mm -hmm. All right. I really like the fog. That's nice. Yeah, each day is full of unique. It kind of feels good that you don't have to drag around a book everywhere you go. <laughs> yeah. You're free. Well, I guess we'll see if we can even go this way. It might be blocked off. That's true. Oh my gosh, I love it. <sighs> it's cool, but also it adds a bit of uh, suspense. Yes. As well. Yeah, I've always I've always enjoyed a good foggy morning. Pretty. Cold morning fog. <gasps> oh, it's actually pretty damn cold out here. Roger that. Warms up fast. The mornings are cold in Boulder, though, right? Yeah, they are. What did you get up to down there? I mean, what's life like? Oh, we can talk about Julia. Oh, do we get personal? Let's... Yeah, let's talk about I just about. spend a lot of time with Julia. Oh, so you have someone there. She's not disappointed. Well, but you're taking a little break. Not exactly. Or... We're... <sighs> Look, I'm sorry. Can you hold that thought? Uh, sure. Just gonna keep hiking and hoping it warms up. Interesting. Hey, oh. I don't think so. Why have you? She. Okay. Good. She's talking to someone else. No, I don't think he has any idea. I'm absolutely sure. Would you? All right. I'll let you know if anything changes in that regard. Hey, sorry about that. Anyway, uh, Julia, girlfriend, ex? Um, sorry, I, I don't mean to That was a little suspicious. Let's not, uh... <sighs> that would let's not be give, give any information Julia. away just yet. Oh, like, like your wife? Or like she's taken half my stuff, wife? My wife. But you're here. Oof. She's sick, and I shouldn't be here, but I am. I... I'm sorry, Henry. What is it? We'll get into it. Okay. 
Well, in the meantime, you are here, and oh. it's beautiful, and escaping isn't always something bad. Yeah, sure. Look, I gotta go do a thing, but I'll have a radio. Okay, call me if you need to. So, do you think she was talking about Henry? Or is, or is it just like a, another random com um, conversation that's like... Oh gosh, where am I going? Oh, we're going all the way down here. There's another cat. That's 307 right there. Can we cross this? I've got to do a thing. <laughs> Little suspicious. Very. Can we leap? Let me leap. You bet you can. I can leap! These would be so slippery. Alright. Nice. That's what I'm talking about. Oops, and... Copy. To two forks, to lake. Oh, so is it, wait. Oh, it's this whole area, okay. Yeah. Oh, wow, this is a big area. Conwood Creek. Guess who's going exploring again? <laughs> The medicine wheel! No, not the medicine wheel! I'm sorry, medicine wheel, you got to wait. Alright, what do they have to say this time? Ron, really wish the powers that be could issue us radios that didn't suck ass. Most of the time, I prefer to keep things pen to paper, but every once in a while, it'd be nice to get a hold of you right away. My sister keeps leaving me messages at the main office, but I don't think she gets that I took the job, so I wouldn't have to deal with her or mom. I've been sitting at that spot, at the spot for a while now, thinking about what to say to her, but I'm a quarter of a way, a quarter way through a bottle of Fife's instead. Miss you, Dave. Dave. Okay. Why do you th do you think these are? Wait, do you think? Wait, do you think Dave is, who we, was here before us? Could be. Oh no! Two books. Jane Eyre. Air? Yes. What? We gotta take... I, I can't... Maybe we oh. can grab one like on our way back. I don't know if we'll ever get the other one though. Mm -hmm. Wait, it's a, it's a lending library. Maybe I should leave the books here. Oh, yeah. For other people. But not the toilet paper. But I want the books. I know. Oops. One chance to die? Is it... It's Richard Sturgeon! It, it is Sturgeon. Damn it. It is another Sturgeon book, unfortunately. Oh, did we even have to jump across? <laughs> I guess not. Oh, what? We're going to just... I, I, thought... I thought that was a lot. Yeah, the water I mean, was I, deeper. I guess our shoes are going to be all wet now, but... And we're going we're gonna to have soggy socks. Let's see. Yes. yes okay. So just follow, the... follow this path. Uh, yeah, we're good. Path. What could be at the medicine wheel? What is the medicine? Yeah, like, yeah, what is it? Just I don't know. a bunch of rocks? It could be. What if it's like a, a burial? Jonesy Lake, Ruby River, two forks. Home sweet home. This is a path, isn't it? <gasps> nice. And clear the brush. This is going off into the wow. <laughs> into the wilderness again. Yeah. There's another. Oh, there's more. Multiple gaps. I hope there's no poison ivy in here. Huh. I feel like there's got to be something here. Besides your book. <laughs> I mean, we've got a tree. Can we radio it in? No, there's nothing uh, coming up. Maybe it could be like a hiding spot. A hide? I hope not. Wow, there's an old, um, I think it's called a medicine wheel out here. Yeah, it was made by Crow American Indians hundreds of years ago. 
There are lots of small ones. Um, have you ever been to Medicine Wheel Monument over in the Bighorns? Well, I sure haven't. Well, it's worth a three-hour detour on the way home in August. Uh, neat. I'll keep it in mind. I do not know what a medicine wheel is. No. So, I'm at the medicine wheel. So, you're near your lookout. Yeah, sure. I'm just wandering around in the forest, and I haven't seen one of the Red Eagle cans for miles. Uh, that's a tough one. Why don't you try getting out of the woods so you can get a better view? Find a vista or a lookout point. Okay, I'll try that. Was I supposed to be here yesterday? Maybe. When I was looking for the... Uh, those ladies. The teens, right? Ooh, it's easy to lose my book around here. So if I'm at the medicine wheel, am I getting close oh, to that Oh, okay, there we go. Uh, no, you're off track. <laughs> the easiest thing to do would be to head back to your tower, then north through the canyon. Feel free to find a landmark and call me from there if you're still okay, lost. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Mm. No, I'm good, I'm good. I don't need help. So it's just, yeah, just a little thing to look at. I guess so. Should I not be? Is this disrespectful uh, to be walking? I know, over right? It? it feels like it could be. <laughs> okay, so it looks like what we need to do is head back to the old lookout, and then we'll go straight north because we know how to get to that okay. place. Yes. All right. And I think we've explored pretty much everything else that I want to explore at the moment. Yeah, that we can, that we don't need a rope for. That we can right? access. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So now we have this whole mystery, right? Oh, it about, looks so different now. Um, her and the walkie-talkie. But why would they be, like, why would that even be if, it, if, if she was talking about us? Yeah, I mean, it's not like they, like, drew me here or anything. He just happened to find the the but, listing, right? Because I was thinking, well, maybe she could be talking to someone else. Maybe she's running away from something, too. And... But then I thought she couldn't contact anyone else. Unless there's someone in, around here. Yeah, that's true. But I feel like she also could like us. Because, you know, when she said, like, who's Julia? She was pretty disappointed <laughs> when she first heard her name. I don't know. So I don't know. Yeah. Some questions. A mystery here. Going on. <laughs> and we're back. Beautiful. You want to put the book back? I mean, I probably could just leave it at the bottom. Yeah. I think things seem to stay where you leave them. Yes. Ah! That's scary. I wasn't expecting that. That's a long way to jump. I don't think my knees could handle that. I know. He's an old, I mean, Henry's not the youngest out there. It's a beautiful day. Without creepy guys skulking around. And raccoons jumping jumping out and scaring you. So what I can't what were we doing exactly? We're repairing a we're repairing something with a wire? We're we're checking out the uh, telephone lines, right? The, okay. the for communication purposes. Hmm. Where does this go? Is this where we okay we did a wait. Damn it. Is it this one or is it above? I don't know, because we were trying to figure out... An area, right, that was closed off? This was the area that yeah. we, we couldn't get to. We couldn't explore furthermore, I don't think. Unless I'm crazy. Oh! This is new. Could I do this before? Maybe you could, we just didn't see it. Let's just poke around here a little bit more for a minute, just to see if we missed anything. Oh, whoops. Oh. So is this related? Oh. No. Guess there's nothing to... Because you already did that, right? Yeah, I think you... Oh, I didn't even see this. Oh. Hey, I've got a notepad here in the outhouse near Hawk's Rest. Looks like song lyrics written by a guy named Carter. Wow, there's a 0% chance it's a happy song. Yeah, it's definitely not. <laughs> Carter was the guy, right? Yeah. I'm headed off to old Shoshone, where the birds and the bees won't know me. Where, maybe I should. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> where men in the war don't exist no more. And there ain't no gals to keep no score. 
I'm taking off for the woods to a place where there ain't no shoulds. <laughs> Don't need no books. I'll ponder the ponderosas. Don't need no lady. I'll marry the mariposas. Mariposas. Is that a drink, I think? Or is it a, a plant? Oh, that's what it was. Okay. <laughs> I can't waste no time in getting there. I'll do 80 down 80 without a prayer. Don't need no gal. I'll spruce up for the spruces. Don't need no pal. I'll change my mood for the mooses. <laughs> If you're wondering where's my ass been, it's been cavorting with the aspens. Don't need no grass, I'll get altered among the alders. Don't need no mess, I'll grovel before the boulders. I'm head headed off to old Shoshone, where the elk and the owls won't know me. Where there ain't no judges to whom I gotta plea, because I can be me in old Shoshone. That was great. I loved your accent. It's not that negative. He just appreciates the outdoors, right? Yeah. But yeah, that twang, that southern twang from Sarah G. Like There's it. a tape recording of the song hidden somewhere in the game if you can find it. Oh, that'd be fun. <gasps> a gap. I missed it. I'm so mad. I've got an overgrown trail here. Yeah, that'll happen. So I'm screwed when it comes to getting past it? Mm hmm Screwed until you clear it yourself, yeah. Great. Well, if I come across some tools, I'll add groundskeeping to my ever-increasing list of responsibilities. <laughs> Damn <All right>. it. <laughs> okay. I thought I was on to something. There we go. What? Ow! <laughs> my knees! What we find? Or who? Or who? Oh. What was that? Left. Just the, uh... Oh. Can you uh, see me? Hey, I can see your tower. suppose that means you can see me. Yeah, well enough. You wake up pretty early then, huh? As soon as the sun comes up. Forest Service really frowns on us putting up curtains for some reason. Can you see the communication wires from where you are? I can see the poles, but I have no idea if the wire is in good shape or not. They run a good distance up to a spot called Beartooth Point. You just need to walk along them all the way up there and make sure everything's in ship shape. Beartooth. Okay. All right. Where yeah, it's right at the top here. Right at the very tip top. Oh. Oh. Oh, just another tilly pole. Uh, I can see the wire you're talking about. It looks like it's in good shape from here. We'll follow it up to the top of the trail if you can. You so can that's where you need to go. As soon as you mm -hmm. give me the all clear. Got it. That looks like where... Freaking... <laughs> What's the... The baboon's name in Lion King? Is that not Zazu? Uh, I forgot. But it looks like where he held up Simba. Yeah. That's what it looks like. The circle of life. Rafiki. Rafiki, yeah, that's where Rafiki held up Simba, oh, right? Oh gosh, I haven't watched that movie since I was probably since I was a kid. Yeah. Can I go up there? It's a mountain climbing day. Circle life. I'm, it just always makes me sad. So we really can't it reach does. anyone any other way than these wires. What else do you suggest? Smoke signals? Just seems dangerous. Well, if they don't hear from me for a few days, they'll send someone out, but I'd rather it not come to that. Aha! This one is very scenic. Can we get another uh, Sturgeon book? Pine cones. Hey, who are these guys, Ron and Dave? They're yes. leaving notes for each other in the boxes. Is there any chance one of them was that guy I saw in the canyon? You know, the guy with the flashlight? No, they're both rangers. They're not out here this season. I didn't really know them that well, but I always assumed the only thing Ron cared about was chasing tail and getting loaded. Wow. It's somehow comforting to know that he was able to keep up a correspondence with someone who wasn't going to send him a topless Polaroid. <laughs> All right, so there's Ron and Dave. Dave. Hey, yo. I got your note about needing to talk, and sorry I didn't track you down. Been looking for you all day. Figured you'd be out near the canyon helping those grad students, but I guess not. I don't even know how I could help, really help, anyway. We're coworkers, you know? <laughs> oh, right, amigos profesionales. Yes. That's what he wrote in the other one. 
If you need someone to throw a case back with and go time traveling, Ron's your guy. But I'm not great with the life stuff. You get it. Later, Ron. Ron. Ronnie. Oh, Ron. So that gave us all the way up here? Yes. Yes. Supply drop. Yeah, I wonder what that is. Is that just like for larger amounts of supplies, like food and stuff? Maybe we'll get a rope back and something to hack the uh, the, Which would be nice. The brush. There's lots of pine cones in here. Anything else? Ah. Wow, you're causing mayhem. This is so unlike you. Is that a board Um, it said? Huh? Board? (gasps) A book! It's another sturgeon. Oh is it? shit! It is. Oh my god! <laughs> that looks like a good one too. It does look good. Maybe, maybe we can grab this on our way back. Okay. I'll leave it here. By the supply cache. So do you think maybe like there'll be more of a um, a mystery? Like, like the more you, days go by or something, like things get kind of creepier and weirder. I could see that. You know. It's pretty wild that our first day something crazy happened, you know? I know. With the uh, break in and everything. It's almost like it was planned. <gasps> what is this? Oh, it's a beer can. Another one. Guess what? What is Are it? they back? There's a bunch of empty cans up here. Same as before. Yep. These fucking kids. Hmm. Why do you think they'd be up here? Hell if I know, but they better have stayed away from our communication stuff. Oh, what if they wrecked it? What if it's someone else? Clean up. Not on my watch. Hmm. There you go. Oh, that's the long drop down. Not turning back. Oh, that means we can't get the book. Ah, oh, shit. I don't want to bring it with me. Uh, it's just, it's like, it's fun, but it's also like, it's right in my face. <laughs> okay. You know what? I don't, I don't need to. I don't need to. You gotta let it's it not go. a necessary part of the game. I know. It's something I that I put on myself. You did. We don't need the book. I'm sorry, Rob Sturgeon. We're leaving you behind. I, I took a lot from you. I'm very proud. Okay. You showed a lot of growth and character there. <laughs> Thank you. What do you think we're going to find up here? A dead body. I wonder if we're going to find like, ooh. We can't clear it. So that goes, oh, It's wow. going to be hard to like remember. Yeah. Because we do mark some stuff, but. Not, yeah. What are these little, the little pointy things? Maybe that means you. Is that like the brushes? You can't. You have to cut through, but you can't. Maybe. Yeah. So far, all of the uh, poles look fine. I'm not seeing any issues. Not yet, at least. What's up with this one? So we're at the top of this, right? This is. Yeah, we just like went up a really big hill. This is the point. <gasps> that looks bad. It does look bad. End of the wire. Uh, yeah, okay, the wire's down here. Okay, good. Any sign of those girls? Did they mess with anything? I'll look around. That doesn't look good. Beer. Who would do this? I don't know. What does it say? (sighs) That is chopped. Go to hell? Wow. Is that for throwing their <laughs> radio in the lake? That's not cool. We were just doing our jobs. Um, what else? That is awful, actually. Oh. Is this a path? Wow, I'm upset. Yeah, there's more down there. We're gonna follow the trail trail of Red Eagle. Oh. Come back. Hey, so the wire is definitely down out here. I just found it. Yeah, the 
thing is, it doesn't look like the wind. It looks like it was cut deliberately. I knew it. The moment you said you found their trash. Oh, these idiots are going to pay. Do they yes. realize this is how people die? I mean, what if something happened to one of my lookouts while this was going on? And God forbid there's an actual fire burning out of control. What do you want to do? I want you to go find them. And then what? John Wick? I... John Wick mode? <laughs> I haven't thought that far ahead. That's not true. Everything that comes to mind is illegal. Mm. Hey, let's, let's hear, hear it. it. Oh. oh, yeah? <laughs> hey, I came out here for a breath of fresh air and some adventure. What do you got? I think I want you to just find them and scare the hell out of them. Yeah, I'd make a spooky ghost costume, but they stole my sheets. You can pretend I'm a bear. I don't know. Um, wait for them to wander off and wreck their camp. Something that would make a teenage girl run home to mommy and daddy. Okay. <laughs> I'll find them. Thanks. But I am going to need a raise. <laughs> <sighs> don't hold your breath. I'd start by hiking back towards your tower and just keep an eye out for anything that would lead you to them. The beer cans. Okay. Oh, they're big into Red Eagle. Yes, they are. Great. See if you can find the path they took down from there. Maybe this way. Maybe they looped back around towards the lake or something. I doubt they're where they were yesterday, but they obviously can't have gone far. Oh, are there two different ways to go here? Oh, wait, because there's a... Yeah. You can drop down right here. But it all come circles around. This is just so. a uh, further point down. Mm -hmm. Well, I'll, I'll at least grab the can. Okay, so there's it keeps... another can down there. Yeah, so that's where the trail goes. Hmm. Oh, okay, okay. This also drops down. You think it is them? It's these. Girls? I don't think so. I think that's a lot of damage. Maybe they killed. They were killed. Really? By the man, the shadowy figure, <laughs> and he's making it look like it was the kids. Like we have no reason to suspect. Anything that nefarious thus far? Like, yeah. there's been crime, but not, like, murder crime. I know. Is this the other side of that uh, bramble? Oh, that we couldn't get to? I think so. It is. Where are you? All right, here we go. Let's get him. What do we got? Oh, the supply drop. Um, the lookout, and then the usual stuff. So is this optional? Because there's no cans, and I think yes. it is. It's definitely not where my camp is. <laughs> hmm. Gotta sweep the perimeter. What is this? Is this the supply drop? <gasps> Please, we want two, three, four. Two forks. There's nothing in what? here. Oh, are you kidding me? No. A Damn. supply cache doesn't have supplies? What a disappointment. That's whack. Wow. You got a good view, though. <laughs> Can't beat that. A zip line. Can I use this? I think you can, sir. Oh, no, it's missing a lever. I think. Hey, I'm out at a ravine. What's this thing that spans across it? That is how you get to my sector. No kidding. Well, let me hike over. Well, it's locked up and mainly for emergencies. I've never actually used it. Rangers use it from time to time, but that's it. Interesting. <laughs> Help! Oh, God, it's an emergency! Oh, really? Yeah, I got, I got, um, I got eyes on a tornado. I got to get <laughs> out of here. A tornado in the heart of the Rockies? Yes! Holy moly, I need to call this in. Tom, Two Forks sees a tornado. He says he needs an evac into my sector. It's a meteorological impossibility. There haven't been tornadoes in the Damn, greater Yellowstone region me. in 100 yeah. million years. You're going to need him to stay and take a detailed personal account, even if it means giving his life. Okay, I'll tell him. Damn. Sorry, Hank. No dice. My name's not Hank. Damn. So, will well, we have an emergency that we need to use this for? Maybe like an end game thing. That is a, a big drop. It is. That looks like where like Wally Coyote would drop after <laughs> trying to yeah. capture Roadrunner. 
All right, let's get out of here. Find these ladies. Never firm talking to. to them. Firm. Scare the crap out oh, of them. Oh, yeah, we got to scare them. I wish we had like a wolf mask. <laughs> like in tea that, that could work. Yeah, a spooky mask. Roar. Okay, this is new territory. What's that? I see something in the tree. Is oh, it God. Balancing act. <clears throat> Don't slip. It's a purse. There's an abandoned pack out here. And it's not one of the teens? No, it looks like it was lost a long time ago. Well, you could always pilfer it for supplies. Okay. <laughs> nice. nice. That was very cat-like of him. <laughs> Brian Goodwin? Brian Goodwin. Oh! Selfie. I have a camera. Oh, rope! Well, I am flush with ropes now. That pack was full of them, in decent nice. condition, too. Nice. That's lucky. I mean, there's there's enough rope here that I could just leave them hooked up, I think. Oh, get this. This uh, pack came with one of those cardboard single-use cameras. With pictures left? Yeah, he only used three or four. Neato. Thank you, Brian Goodwin. Wait, wait, who? The bag had the name Brian Goodwin <laughs> sewn into the top. Huh. Wow. Do you know him? Yeah, I just haven't heard that name in a few years. Ex-lover. He was a lookout? <laughs> yeah, kinda, I guess. He was stationed in Two Forks, your lookout, with his dad, Ned, three summers oh. ago. Great kid. You can bring children out here? No. You know, I'm not a stickler for rules. They took off halfway through the summer. You guys keep in touch, you and the Goodwin kid? Nah, they took off pretty unceremoniously. Plus, what's a 40-year-old woman going to do with a teenage pen pal? Hmm, good point. Anyway, so it goes. Have uh, fun with that camera. Try not to snap anything that would scar a Photodome employee. <laughs> I don't know, I got a lot of hiking to do. Might get bored. Well, I'm bored as rocks, so I'll keep you company while you find those girls, huh? All right. So, oh, we have I 18. have 18. Ooh. I, well, I feel like I gotta save these. Like, what yeah. if we find something? We need to take Evidence. photos. We don't have any other stuff, so no. I should probably save it. Mm -hmm. Save your ammo. Maybe if I have like a really beautiful moment at some point, we'll take like one photo. We can take a picture of uh, Bucket Junior. <laughs> Buck yes, let's take a picture of Bucket. Maybe we can take him out there. You know. <laughs> Let them see the sights. Yeah. All right, Repel. here we go. So I have enough ropes now, I guess, for everything that yeah. I'm looking for. Yep. It sounds like. You can get to unexplored territories. Um... Oh, there's more. There's more. Hmm. I feel like I could slide down there. <laughs> yeah. I, he's but then I guess I couldn't come back up. So. Oh, that's true too. Uh. Nice. <laughs> I see that supply cache. Hmm. Be with you in a moment. Wonder. How what we're going? Does she have? Oh, now <gasps> sickness. She's got Alzheimer's, like um, dementia. Whoa, how old was she? Is she? She's alive. She's with her family in Melbourne, Australia. She's forty-three. Fuck. Yeah. What was it like when you guys found out? Uh. Devastating. Especially for her, you can understand. And for you. Anyway, everything she worked for was taken away, and that was it. Yeah. I'm sorry to be such a downer. Don't, don't, don't even. I'm happy to listen. 
And, mm. you know, we'll try to have some fun this summer. I promise. That's nice of you, Delilah. Yeah. I feel like she can't be bad, right? She no, seems I think way it's too not, nice. Right. It's got to be something that, like, something else. Something right. we don't understand. I misunderstood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, you know, it doesn't hurt to be cautious. Yeah. <laughs> Just in case. True that. One, two, three, three four. four. I'm becoming a pro at this. Wow, yeah, I know you're a hacker. Oh, that's nice. This goes. So this is where I am, right? The supply drop. Repeat, did you go down to a mule point and repeat? -y? Like that extend, extended trail. Oh, that way? Yeah. Perhaps. Oh, wow. But it doesn't look like we have too much else on the route. And we haven't even picked up any more beer cans yet. Oh yeah, yeah, where are they? That's a good, good question. A loose, loose stone. stone. What's what's this? No. Examine. Is there like is it a fake rock? Is there the key in here? No. It's a murder it's just weapon. The rock? You just touched evidence, Sarah. <laughs> Damn it. Ooh. Uh, someone found a fossil and put it in a cash box. Could be the same person who left that antler. And maybe they're leaving me an entire creature piece <laughs> by piece. Cool. And I'm gonna throw it out here, this priceless artifact. It's a Velociraptor Claw. Dave, guess who's going out with Debbie next week? No, not that shit heel Steve. It's your man, Ron. I went up to check out the new guy at Two Forks and heard him talking to himself, more than usual for LOs, so I figured I'd stay away. Remember when you saw Chimney Rock having himself in having himself in that hammock hmm. i'm starting to think the forest service only picks the deranged and perverted except for us of course we're the creme de la creme let's toast to dev at the spot ron what's uh, the spot i don't know no flowers all right i guess not where are the cans where could they be Oh, beer cans. So, how'd you meet? Ooh. I met in a bar. Mm, the birthplace of modern romance. I walked over and asked her what her major was because I <laughs> thought she was a student, not a prof. Smooth. That's me. I did make the first move, though. Aw, you were brave. I was drunk. That's wow. cool. That's what we did. Yeah. We chose to do that. Exactly. Imagine a free man at a bar. <laughs> that would, ooh, what's this? Um, a gated um, entryway. Let me in. Vents. Hey, uh, Delilah? What do you got? You found him? Uh, no, not yet. Why would there be a fence out here? Uh, because sometimes hikers go ass over tea kettle when on a trail. So the Forest Service would put up a big chain link fence? A chain link fence? Yeah. It looks like it surrounds a huge area. Huh. That's weird. She doesn't know about it? Oh. Who are they keeping out of here? And why? Ah, uh, jeez. I don't know. Maybe it's biologists, you know? Well, they don't want people traipsing on their precious lichens. Hmm. What's a lichen? Well, wouldn't you lichen to know? <laughs> oh my god, goodbye. <laughs> I'll ask next time I talk to someone, but <laughs> that'll probably be a few days. Do you think those girls could be behind this fence? Hmm, well, having once been an ornery young woman, the last <laughs> thing I would do is climb a fence. Especially if I knew I was in trouble. I, I don't even know how I would get in. It's really strange that that's out there, by the way. Yeah, it's weird. Uh oh. Can you climb this? Was there a, something? Yeah, this looks like a gap, but I don't know if that's supposed to be there or uh, if it's just like. You know. Yeah, because you could easily, you know, do a little. 
Hey, remember that guy from yesterday, the guy I saw hiking home? Yes. Maybe he was from this fence place. <laughs> mm, fence place. Fence. Yes. Mm. You know what? I'll make a note. You might be on to something. Is that so? Well, that's intriguing. It is intriguing. And she, the fact that she doesn't know about it raises... And, and it shouldn't even, like, be here. Raises some concerns. Like, should I explore more around here? Is there anything to be found with this place? Or is it kind of just... I know. All blocked off. Maybe we'll find a way. Let's go this way. Eventually. Still no beer cans. No. Oh, nothing. looks like there was there was a fire. What are you gonna here? do when the fire season wraps up? Are you gonna go be with her? Just go back to Boulder. You should go be with her. Uh, maybe I'll go visit. I don't know. Well, why not? She's with her family in Melbourne. They're not big fans of mine. Oh. Her sister Susan is great, but her parents, I uh. I think they always thought she could do better Aww. and Aww. that I could have done a better job looking after her. Fuck that. I have no doubt you did your best. I don't know. If you want to go visit her, you should go. Don't let a couple of assholes keep you away from someone you love. I'll think about it. Thanks, Delilah. Wow. What a homie. Australia. That's a long way. Yeah, it's quite the flight. All right, let's ask about this burned area. Or not. Is it over now? I'm having a hell of a time getting this fucking flapjack off his ass and out to repair that wire. <laughs> hmm. Haha. <laughs> 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 oh, man. <laughs> what? You like that? This guy is the freaking king of the flapjacks. Yeah, that's solid. I'll have to keep that one in my pocket. It's all yours. <laughs> I want to ask about this place. Yeah. In this burned section of forest, I have no idea where to go. Their trail is pretty cold at this point. Yeah. Mm, you're out by Mule Point. No one would camp out in a fireweed. Well, I want you to stay out there as a favor to little old me. My pleasure. I know. Okay, we know these young women are sloppy. They must have left some sort of trail. Yeah, they're not professional criminals. We can hunt them down. We're better than this. Yes. Okay, let's survey the area. Anything? <laughs> no. Because <laughs> I'm, I'm about ready to wrap it up for today, but I would like to figure out these, where these girls are. Uh oh. We've it's saved. Music. That's good. We've got a save. All right. Something's about to happen. Mule point. So we're going down. Maybe at the end of mule point, there'll be something. Oh, okay, so that's... okay. Hmm. Okay. I like the music. The music's been great. Hello? I feel like you're about to uncover something. I know. Anyone here? I'm gonna get ya! <laughs> I forgot we were supposed to scare them. Wait, did I just make a circle? Yes. Damn you it. You did a me. <laughs> That's something I would do. So, am I going? Where am I going? This I way, go I think. Here? I think you might have to drop out. Drop off. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Rip hope. But then this takes me back to where I've been before, right? Yeah, but the music started when you were over here. I don't know. Hmm. Well, we can always come back. Thunder Canyon. Maybe there will be more stuff back in like the regular area. Maybe they went back to your. Oh, is be. there a chance that the, the teens did? The teens? <clears throat> no. <sighs> uh. Mess up your place? I guess it's possible. We can't rule out anything. Everyone's a suspect. I oh. wonder, maybe so it saves, I should go back to our lookout? 
Hello? Triple triple teens? Are you are you over here? Locked. Hey, yeah. let's leave this place. <laughs> it sounds like the Skyrim caves. <laughs> hey, do you see that? What? Yes. I don't see it, but Yeah, I think so. That thin plume of smoke. Yeah. Oh. Looks like it's way down to the southwest. You should be able to find a way over there from the meadow by the lake. Towards Five Mile Creek, it's in the southwest quadrant of your map. Okay. You think it's those girls? I'm pretty sure it's a campfire, so yeah. I'd call that All right. a safe bet. We're chasing them Man, around they really everywhere. Do not, give a shit, do they? <sighs> not a one. Okay, I have eyes on that smoke plume. Great. Find your way over there and give them hell. Sounds like a plan. Well, that's perfect. Oh, I didn't even notice this. Wait a minute. Was this? Ah! ah. That's scary. That before? is terrifying. You know, I don't think there's any fictional character I hate more than Forrest Burns. Henry, as an employee of the Forest Service, that is treason. <laughs> yeah, well, he really freaked me out as a kid. He inspired me to spend the bulk of my 30s keeping the wilderness safe. A shrink would have a field day with you. Uh, thanks, Mom. I want to put him up. What kind of name is Forrest Burns anyway? Well, that would be a pun, Hank. A glorious pun. I went to junior high with a guy named Royal Butts. What? Oh, Royal? Oh. Butts. <laughs> I didn't think anyone had been named Royal since the 1850s. <laughs> well, Royal's mom, Flo, was a bit of a trendsetter. Flo. Flo Butts? Oh, man, that's even worse. Yeah, well, it's still better than Forrest Burns. <laughs> I like that. Okay. You know, <laughs> ended on a... Ended on a high note. Yes. Ah, oh, it's beautiful. <laughs> Come on. There you go. Well, they're kind of melding together, but <laughs> that's okay. It's a glitch. That <sighs> is a wrap on... I want to take my headphones off, but... Firewatch for today. Firewatch. Wow. Good what'd, fun. What'd you think about it? I'm having a good time. Yeah, it's definitely right up my alley. Yes. There's a... It started off kind of sad. We learned about this character, Henry. Yes. And his current situation with his wife, Julia. And now he's out here all alone. Kind of a, on a whim, just takes this job as a lookout. Yeah, it's interesting because I feel like they're going to have... To, like, the two stories are going to kind of have to come together in some way, right? Him and... His you would and, imagine. And Delilah's... Well, like the whole thing with Julia. Oh, like, gotcha, gotcha. Maybe like through what's happening here. I don't know. It's going to affect his normal life. You right. know, like that sort of thing. Had, had, a, had some good laughs. We got jump scared or I got jump scared. <laughs> yes. But yeah, I just really overall enjoyed this peaceful walk. Although I didn't, it wasn't too peaceful because you had those damn teenagers with their loud music, hairspray and beer. I know. Causing mayhem across the lands. It is fun though. I, I like the dialogue, all, yeah. all, the, all the jokes and, and stuff. The banter between Henry and uh, mm -hmm. Delilah—they're getting a bit closer. I feel like so. And I definitely feel like it gives you the sense of really being out there alone. Mm, yeah. You know, except for the couple people we've seen—a stranger and, of course, uh, Bucket Junior, <laughs> our turtle. Best part of the of the first first part so far, Definitely. Bucket Jr. <laughs> I love him. <laughs> <laughs>